my god the paint is finally here they are here they are here they are here they are here now we can paint the tiles they are here hi guys welcome to episode four i'm back with more awesome ideas today i'm definitely going to paint those ugly tiles in the bathroom but before doing so i'll be spraying my old bathroom fixtures in black i'll be spraying this curtain rod along with the end i'll be spraying the flush handle for the toilet the lower pipe for the bathroom some spacers for the pipes along with some other fixtures and also my old garbage bin without saying much more guys let's get right to the video now I'm using a grey acrylic edge chem primer to prime them first. In episode 3, I did not prime the toilet because I was instructed that I don't necessarily have to prime them. But guys, I'm definitely priming these because they are going to come in contact with a lot of water. A few days ago, I prepared these fixtures for spraying by sanding them down with a 200 sandpaper just to create a surface for adhesion now i'm applying the black auto enamel paint after which i'm just gonna leave them to dry then i'm just gonna head over to the bathroom to paint those tiles So guys, these are the paints I collected earlier. I bought them on Amazon. I'm going to use them to paint the old tiles in the bathroom. They are floor coatings. They can be used on surfaces such as ceramic and porcelain tiles, hardwood, concrete, laminate, vinyl, and linoleum. So it's a two-step process. And I've decided to get the paint in pearl gray um this is the the gloss the semi-gloss coat the top coat so it says um i must apply the base coat and then six hours after i should apply the the top coat so guys it says that it requires no sanding or stripping or priming and also um this paint should not be used inside the shower and because my bathroom tiles they are ceramic tiles and remember guys that i i tile the sections that are in the water area so i've decided to try this one you know on the outside of the area that you know there will be no water and there's a lot of instruction on here guys so it's the first time i'm using it i'm just gonna follow the instruction and then i'm just gonna get started so now i'm just shaking the tin i'm anxious to see the color I chose pearl gray and I'm not sure what it looks like and um, the top coat I chose it in semi gloss they had it in matte but I just I wasn't sure how that was gonna look so I said okay let me just risk it and take the semi gloss so now I'm just gonna open the tin to see what the color looks like I think I like this color yes I like the shade after I apply it on the wall I'll see the true color after it has been cured guys I'm anxious to try this so I'm just gonna get started with the painting now
the application is extremely smooth guys there is no dripping or running i'm using a paint brush to get the paint in the grout lines it only requires one coat Guys, this is how it looks after the application of the base coat. So I'm just gonna leave it to dry for six hours, after which I'll come back and apply the top coat. In the meantime, I'll show you how the fixtures turned out. These are the bathroom fixtures I sprayed earlier in the video. I think it turned out very well. I really like the color, I like the look. This is the flush handle for the toilet and the lower pipe for the shower. I love this one. I love the sheen. I love the finishing. And this is the end for the curtain rod. So I'm pleased. I am happy with how these turned out. Guys, if you like the video, remember to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for your continued support. If it's your first time here, thank you for clicking on this video. Now I'm going to head back over the bar room to show you the finished look. This is the final look guys after the top coat has been applied I chose semi gloss but I think the sheen is very high however I think it looks good it gives that shiny tile look so basically you can't easily tell that the wall has been painted it looks like the wall has been tiled with some grey tiles the only problem is that the tile has indented patterns so definitely you're gonna see that peeping through the color. So as you can see guys, I installed the glass for the shower. So guys, I must tell you that this was a thick piece of tempered glass I had sitting around it was an old dining table top and I said why not just use it for the shower glass you know because you know it's a thick piece of tempered glass so I used it for the shower I wanted the channel to go all the way around the glass but unfortunately that did not happen because I didn't have enough channel but I think the bathroom is coming together nicely. Now I can see the transformation and it's not fully completed. We are getting closer to the big reveal. Thank you for tuning in on this episode. In next week's episode, you'll get to see the installation of the fixtures, the vanity, and a lot of more interesting stuff. I won't tell you all now. Just stay tuned. 
So bye guys. I'll see you in the next episode. The heart.